My name is Lou Friedland. I'm from the University of Wisconsin-Madison uh, School of Journalism and Mass Communication where I direct the Center for Communication and Democracy. In the United States we live in a federal system and democracy, however large the questions are in Congress, still begins at the local community. If local citizens aren't engaged with things as small as why aren't my potholes being fixed or why aren't my schools working for my kids, then they're not going to be engaged with the debates on the budget in Congress. It's really that simple. The challenge is to, to explain to people where they live, why they ought to be engaged with their fellow citizens, how they can be engaged, what the entry points are, and then what they can do once they enter that discussion. In the 1700s in the United States, we lived in extremely small local communities where th that roughly approached uh, the ideal or were below the ideal figure for a democratic community. Aristotle set it at 5,000. That was the maximum democratic community that, that should exist. Well, a local New England town hall involved several hundred people. People could have a deep, long discussion. They knew their neighbors. They trusted them. Uh, even if they didn't like them, they at least knew who they were and they could figure out where they were coming from and what their interests were. Um, nowadays, obviously, we don't live that way. Now, we can all live in our own, the world of our own little Facebook or Twitter feed, and we can design that to see what we want to see as close to exactly as we want and to not see what and who we don't want to see. People in, in a certain city didn't want to see crime in the morning because you know that's in a different part of town they don't even know about that they don't care about that well that's that's in some ways that's the problem they don't know they don't care and at this point in our civic and journalistic life in this country they don't have to it's not the digital system per se that isolates us but the digital system gives us the possibility of isolating ourselves what we have is a massive change in the social structure of the United States in the past you know we could argue about this, but 40 years, where we're becoming a society of what some people would call weak ties or what Robert Wuthnow of Princeton calls loose connections. So we are not connected to each other in the same way that we were. We don't have the same civic associations as Robert Putnam has taught us. Our social capital has declined. This is a familiar story, but the part that's not connected as often is the fact that this society of loose ties also makes the way that we live on the internet possible. The fact that I can kind of pick and choose these 300 strangers to be friends and get information from them instead of 40 people who I might know in my neighborhood really shifts the entire ground of our society, the entire ground of our civil society, and therefore the entire ground of our democracy.